Welcome, everybody, to another episode <laughs> of Of Your Experience Podcast. That was intense. I'm Blaze we McBain. The Pokemon. There's Bats. He's playing some Pixelmon, which I'm probably going to hop on at some point, sometime soon. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Liani, honestly, uh, for deciding to create... Or he, I guess he already had this like challenge server or whatever, and he's uh, like fixed it up, made it current, See? and now everybody's on it. I, I just find it funny because he's like, it's a challenge server. I'm like, dude, I'm just out here like, I don't even know the challenge. I'm just catching Pokemon. The challenge is to beat it. To beat all the gyms. Dude, I literally sat there for about three hours getting a Magikarp into a Gyarados. Because I was like, this is happening. How would, it, how would you feel if someone already had a Gyarados that they fished and caught? I don't even care. <laughs> Baz is like, I don't care, uh, that, dude. I'm, I'm just Pokemon and about. Yeah, that would require me to know, like, because my problem is, is I don't know how to play Minecraft in general. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel as that. I'm over here, Pokemon and then up bosses. I'm building the base. I got to grind this. I got to turn this into this. And I was like, none of that makes sense to me. I'm just out here throwing Pokemon. Yeah. Bosses. So, like, I'm from the era of, like, old school Minecraft where there was no end game. Like there wasn't a you know another dragon and all that stuff like you just built stuff, yeah. And there wasn't See? all the like extra stuff that there is now. Not that that's bad. Like I think it's super sick what Minecraft has become. I just don't fully understand all of it because I haven't dabbled in it. Yeah, I I know nothing about it. And then when I ask, I just get laughed at. So it's like, oh, okay, bruh. Okay, bruh. Rat a tat 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 tat. Anyways, um. <laughs> Bat, I, I kinda bats and ratatats and never heard of it dude okay it was like a rare boss that was the only time and i only did it because you're like just go for it i uh, because i knew i knew i said if bats you won't do it that you would i know I, you wouldn't step down from the it. challenge you know you know what i found out i need blaze what's up an electric type pokemon that's probably good um you know what I found out we needed? What's that? A new host provider for the podcast. Uh, so we are no oh, longer... Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> what are you doing? And then I... <laughs> yeah. We are no longer uh, hosted through Podbean because I discovered the other day that if I switch to Spotify, I can do video podcasts through Spotify, and it's Ooh, all better. free. It's it's not just free. It's not just better analytics. It's not just the ability to upload a video podcast to Spotify and YouTube. Um, it's not just the fact that I can go to all the providers you already had in general. Uh, it's not that uh, you know. It, it's it's the combination of we we are getting everything I was paying for before. It's not like I was paying like an astronomical amount of money, but I was paying like yeah. I think it was like 120 bucks a year to host the podcast, and now. I can do it for free Ew. with a better service. Ew. And it worked out perfectly because the next re up on my Podbean payment was next month. So big dubs across the board, you know? But that might mean there's some hiccups along the way. Um, I had some hiccups just getting the, the podcast transferred over um, to Spotify as the main host. We have all the episodes transferred over. Tonight will be the first time we upload to the podcast. I, I've posted on Twitter. I posted in Discord. If you're wondering why the episode's sort of late, it was a combination of that because I did all that on Sunday and the fact of like we just had real life stuff going on. Uh, we were going to record last night, but my wife was sick and I spent time taking care of her and the kids and Bats played Pixelmon. So yep. it's kind of where we're at. I, I played like way too late too. Yeah. It was funny because I got on. I was like, this man's already supposed to be asleep. Yeah, and then I'm like, wait, was he waiting to see if I'd be on to do the podcast? I was like, no shot. Uh, so I just went and oh, streamed. I mean, yeah, I was I was definitely waiting to like be on to see if Blaze was going to do the podcast. I, th I, I, I thought just, I thought about asking you. Streamed. Yeah, did, but yeah, you, was... you were you were in the depths of Pokemon, bro. Dude, I was. It was reminiscing. Like, I all I do is have the old school Pokemon. I'm not even kidding. I have, like, one new Pokemon because I was like, ah, this is a high level. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. 
But anyways, Bats, what have you been playing this week, dude? What have you been, what have you been um, gaming on? All right. I was ready for this-ish. Let me, uh, let me minimize my Minecraft, load up Smite real quick, so I can talk about some games that I wanted to uh, get into. But uh, So I've been playing Liza P still. I uh I got to a boss called the Door Guardian. Pain in the butt. Probably guards a door. Yeah, no, this thing is like huge. You do no damage to it. Apparently, you have to like knock it down and get crit hits. Oh, okay, that's fun. Yeah. And I I think I know why. I just haven't rebooted up because I've been every time I've been playing Liza P, I've been trying to stream it. Just yeah. Because. Um, no, I get that. It's still pretty fun. I think I'm pretty close to the end. That's tough. That's Obviously, tough. I just woke up, which is what the problem is. I'm adjusting. I just wake up. Blaze is ready for bed. Like, that's how I, this works. I mean, no, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I I literally said to Boss and Liani, I'm like, bro, if Bats isn't on in like half an hour, I'm taking myself to bed. Uh, all right, so we played Smite. We played a lot of ranked games. I mean, a lot of ranked games. I think I have like yeah. 52 one or ranked games now, and I think I was at 13. Dang. Yeah. Um, That's a view. I had a really great one where I played a Thana jungle and got a pentakill. Yeah. It Let's was go. great. It was down to the last wire, too. Because, you know, when you have somebody yelling at your ear, get the pen to get the pen to hurry up, hit an ability, do something. You don't always Man, hit it. You don't. I remember I was yelling about getting a pen to this week and then someone took it away. Yeah, that it's crazy. Me. I uh, could, couldn't say who it was. <laughs> uh, could, couldn't possibly be, you know, uh, you didn't the co-host of the podcast. Yeah. I did have a triple. I did have a triple. I'm like, bro, this is the easiest Penta ever. And I, I then think it was divine. And, and divine then you're, it. it wasn't me. And then you're like, ha ha. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, it was uh, on a Kakolin who is a, a slippery Kakolin. It was not, it was not fun. I finally got him, you know. Um, then I had another ranked game where I went best at. Well, and that that one I was like 22 and 10. Uh, then I played another game where I was best at, went 18 and three, and obliterated the other jungle. That's, uh, that's good. There was... Well, the funny part was, so the Thana game that I had, I really wanted to play a Wheelix, right? So I didn't ban a Wheelix, which I'm finding out. I just shouldn't do that because anytime I want to play a Wheelix and I don't ban a Wheelix, they get a Wheelix. Yeah. But they got a Willix, and I was like, "You dirty names!" Yeah, names now you that can't, probably now, can't, like. Now you can't pick anything with a leap. <laughs> so I was like, "Fine." I picked Dana, and we ended up making that. Let me see. Ah, wrong game. We ended up making that a Willix go eight and eleven. I was like, "I hope you never pick a Willix again." That's a feels good. <laughs> that is a feels good for sure um other than that yeah it's just been ranked grind constantly i think out of the all of the ranked grinds like it's mostly blue it's like one red out, out of like seven blues which is nice it's been the first uh other than that just been playing last fortress and fix them on nice which nice it's actually really fun yeah, I'm excited to get on there. I, I have a lot of, like, content stuff I, I've been having to do. So, like, it's been hard for me to, like, kind of slip away from that. But eventually, I'm going to get on there and have some fun. I know Asmore Boss and you were on there. I know yeah. Gactyl said he might get on at some point. Uh, I think it'll be a good time. It, it was so funny. So, um, Boss is on here, right? And we're all just, like, first he's like, oh, I got to do my base. I got to do that. And then Liani goes... Man, how funny would that be if Az gets on and beats the first gym before you do? And Boss is like, I gotta beat the first gym. So yeah. that's all he did. And as he's doing it, he DC he said his oh, internet no. working right as Az gets on. That's too funny. Uh, of course, you know, they act like uh for me it's all about the gyms and everything. I was like, dude, I'm just enjoying the Pokemon life. Yeah. 
I don't know what Az is doing. Az was doing some type of like challenge thing along with the challenge of beating all the gyms. Uh, but... He <laughs> he might be doing which he already lost the challenge if that's the case. He's not doing a nuzlocke. I don't think. Oh, okay. Because I was like, what? Dude, yeah, I he... literally just turned over and there was like a billion flying birds just in the sky. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was watching Az play earlier and he was getting so frustrated with one of the gyms because they kept like it would wait to like the last Pokemon to send the best one out and it would just obliterate him. And I was like, this is too funny. Was it flying type or was it like a I don't grass know. I have, type? No, I have no idea, man. I, do, I just was like, I wasn't paying attention to the Pokemon. I was just listening to him get upset and it was so funny. <laughs> Dude, I like right now I'm at the flying gym and I've I've faced a guy like three times. And first, it's a pain in the butt. Because to get up there is a pain in the butt. Like it's it's parkour. It's oh, you bounced off a wall. Ha 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 ha. Fall right, all the way down. Right. Start over again. So then you get up there, and he throws out like, what is it? Uh oh, man, I can't think of it at the moment. Go trio. No. Is that the one? Is that the bird with three heads? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. that out there, and it, it just faints, and it, like, destroys any Pokemon you have. Like, that's it. It's just a faint. Bow. Boom. You're like, Hit how? Him with it. Ow. So then your Pokemon dies. So then you got to drop all the way down, revive your Pokemon, and then Do it try again. to get all the yep. way back up there again. Getting, getting Roadrunner, dude. Me, me. So that's, that's why I am, I am on the uh, grind for a electric type pokemon probably a good idea probably a good idea i know right i was like how can i make this easy oh that's right why don't i get an electric type <laughs> dude i've been playing okay so games this week have been crazy i don't even know where to start i guess we start with my hero academia uh last week oh yeah where... i did play a couple things of that Last week, I was off work, which was a blessing. Uh, besides the fact that I drove like a billion hours, um, it was fine because I had to go like pick up the kids and drive back and all that stuff. And it was just it was a lot of driving in there. But I did do some day streams, played some My Hero Academia during those streams, had a good time doing it. Uh, boss played with me a good bit of time, but we had some like new viewers coming to chat and chatted up. And then we had actually a new viewer, scary Shay end up joining and playing with us for a bit. And she was popping nice. off, but man, the, the game is just so good. It, it It is like fast pace and the games. I think the longest game I've been in is like 13, 14 minutes. And it's just, it's nice to be able to do a battle royale game that's fast paced. You have to pay attention to everything that has a, a few different revive mechanics, but also just has like mechanics that make all the characters feel different and useful in their own ways. Where like Cementos can like auto res people and so can Fropy and like, it's just really, really good. Oh, I, no. I haven't, I I've just enjoyed login? it. Uh, I don't think so. There's still logins going on. No, but for the uh, special skin. No, there's there's still one going on. The one I sent you yesterday, it's still going on. I think. Oh, is it's he, a couple. I think it's. I think dude, it's a couple my, days. I don't know, whole, dude. Uh... They've been doing a lot of different login rewards. Like, there's login birthday skins. There's a login reward system. There's a special login reward system. I mean, overall, it's just been a lot of fun to play. Uh, I've had a lot of good games. I've been playing. We we originally thought Dobby might be bad. And then I started realizing that Dobby has an ability where he hits the ground and it shoots up flames around him and you can't hit and no projectiles go through the flames. So you have oh, to actually crazy. and he can fire projectiles out of the flames. And his projectiles have an auto target system that like auto targets onto somebody. You can outrun it left to right or whatever, you know. You can dodge it really easily. But his, that mechanic is so, so good if you have a team that you can communicate with. Like me and Boss, I started running Dobby, and we were fragging out. I think I had like two or three wins in a row on him where I was just putting out a ton of damage because he has these traps you put down, he has those autos, and then he has that ability where you can't knock projectiles through. So you have to enter the ring with him, literally, to fight him. And then the cool part is if he gets downed, 
as they're going to like do the finishing move on you, your like secret ability or R, whatever you want to call it, is like you unleash the flames around you, so it knocks them off, but it does massive damage as well. So that's pretty cool. I, I really like the diversity in the character cast of the game and how their abilities work and the movement. I mean, it's just really, really solid. If you've not played My Hero Ultra Rumble, I think it's definitely worth checking out. I haven't played much over the past few days just because I've been busy with several other things. But in the in one week of playing, I was there's 50 levels in the battle pass. I'm already level 35 or something like that. I mean, I yeah, was I was slamming game. I, I, I was say, I've been slamming games. I really do enjoy it. Uh, I even I had rough games tonight. Roll. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> I do need to do some rolls. They had, they actually released some some good skins. But I mean, I, I played that a ton. I think I put in like <sighs> ten to fourteen hours on that game in a week. But it was a lot of me and bosses slamming cues. We started playing ranked. Had some good ranked games. Got some good teammates with that. Um, boss liked out of a couple matches, which, uh, provided some entertainment. The, the, the one main, I guess, frustration I have. Okay. So let me, let me talk about the three things that bother me. The UI sucks. The UI is just bad. And I don't mean like in-game UI. I mean like the U like just the UI, like clicking through menus, like is bad. And in game, like sometimes you'll get stuck in like, if you hit escape, you get stuck in the pause menu and it's just awful. Um, I found out how to connect your Twitch account besides like, oh yeah, you go to Twitch and you have to go through the band Dynamico account, but that doesn't do anything for you unless you learn how to lo- uh, link it in game and to link your account in game is you launch the game. And when it says uh-huh. like click to be ready in the bottom left hand corner, there's a menu button that's different than the menu button in the game. And you have to click on that menu button and there is a link account feature there. And that is the only where to find it only place to find it in game the only place it's nowhere in the actual game once you go beyond that start screen all right um, i'll have so, to remember to link my <laughs> so that pisses me off like that's just stupid um and then uh-huh. oh my third thing is that you can have ko's taken away from you by people just leaving the match and that oh, pisses really? me off yeah so like you can go to finish somebody and they can just leave and you won't get a ko for it and i just think that's super scummy I I I hate it. We got a plus ultra chest. Oh, let's go. Um so yeah, that that's like the three things that piss me off, but beyond that, like I really do enjoy the game and I think it's really well made. I'm excited cuz they're adding crossplay. Fun. And I think adding crossplay is only going to keep that game going for longer. I don't remember who I was talking to though. They're like, "Think about this. What if there was a Naruto game?" That was like it, like, like a Naruto. Like, and I was like, "Bro, sign me!" Sick. I said, "I was like, I would play that in a heartbeat." I, um, yeah, I definitely it would be. Would it would be so sick. And the cast of characters is literally endless. Oh, it is. So um, that had me hyped that 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 idea could exist. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if you saw it. Also, like on the anime gaming front, did you see the I didn't new know there t- were emotes? Oh yeah, there is. Have you seen the 2v2 Jujutsu Kaisen game coming out? No. It looks good. Uh, I think I have it in the gaming uh, news, but I've linked it in Discord, and it it, it looks sick. Well, so, I know what Blaze and I are doing for a while. Yeah, that's going to be a fun time. I'm excited about it. But, uh, yeah, we, we had a good time. I queued. I think Asmore played with us a little bit this week. There's a bunch of people that have downloaded it. I think Dude Man downloaded it and played with us. Uh, Big Cat downloaded My Hero. I mean, just a bunch of people said that it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm glad to see it getting some love. I've actually talked to some other people that I, I don't even game with that I know they're playing it. So that's pretty sick. Um, other than that, I played some Paladins this week just to go back and try it out. I've seen some of the updates they have coming out, and that game is pretty solid. feels good. Uh, I played a game or two of Overwatch. It feels bad, and I don't want to play it again, uh, but I probably will at some point. And then I've done some sponsored streams over the past couple days. Yo. On Sunday, I did a sponsored stream for Fay Farm, which is like a farming simulator cozy game that also has like dungeons, and you can go fishing and harvest and all that, and bug catching and all that kind of stuff. And it's co-op. That game is good. I played for like two hours, and I had to shut it off. Because I was like, I have to go to work the next day. I, can, I like, and I was like losing track of time. Um, I was having a good, a like good old yesterday. time. I found out you can get pets to take care of, and I was like, what? oh, and I was like, okay, I gotta get off. 
that game is a ton of fun. Uh, shout outs to uh, the publisher of Fae Farm and, you know, Key Mailer for hooking us up with the key to be able to play that on stream. I will be playing it again. It was it was a blast. Uh, just just a nice way to kind of like chill and do a cozy stream felt good. Last night, I did some dare drops games on stream. I played the bloodline. And that game has so much potential. Yeah, what's that about? Okay, so think Skyrim in the sense of like, uh, in, in like Elder Scrolls, where like when you do a lot of running, you your running levels up. Or if you do a lot of sword fighting, your sword fighting levels up. If you do a lot of... So like the cool thing is like, uh, let's say you want to learn magical abilities or you want to get better at pyromancy. Yeah. You, you literally go get a book, right? And you can sit down and you open the book and it makes you actually use like a legend on the side, like a key in order to do the words. Like it'll say, uh, for instance, like pyroblast, but there's a key in runes that like P is a certain rune. Y is a certain rune. And you have to spell it out in time to get extra XP to level up your pyromancy. And I think that is sick. That is kind of cool. Um, there was a lot of just like really cool elements about it. It's being developed by one guy. My only complaint is I got four crashes in 45 minutes. Like I just could not oh, like play man. the game and I would, it would crash or I'd get like stuck to where I, I, I couldn't like my characters at one point, like my screen was just locked by my character's head and I couldn't do anything. Uh, and I did... went to go, I went to go restart it and it put me like 15 minutes back. So that was really frustrating. So I ended up ending that part oh, no, of the stream got... because I didn't want to have to keep do it, dealing with that. I didn't want to keep dealing with crashes or bugs and that kind of stuff. But I do think that game has a lot of potential. And then I played Silent Hope, which is an X seed game, and that game is really good. It's like sort of top down ish and it's kind of like a hack and slash game. You get abilities, but it's all based off of like dungeon level. And like you go basically through like dungeon levels and you get gear, you get items to craft, but you can swap between, I think it's like seven or eight characters through the floors. Like if you find a crystal, you can swap to a different character that you want to play and you can level them up. And all the characters have like you, they're all unique classes. That's pretty cool. Um, so that was sick. I played a lot of that last night. Again, I had to check myself and see what time it was and, and go to bed. Um, so <laughs> that um, definitely sounds like me. Yeah, that's been nice. So I, I played a good little variety of games this week. I was actually playing Diablo before we started podcasting tonight because the new Diablo season dropped, uh, Let's where go. it's like vampiric abilities. There's, uh, I think seven, five or seven replayable bosses, they fixed a bunch of XP gains. They fixed a bunch of other stuff as well, um, along with adding a bunch of new stuff. But like they fixed the bag system. It, they they did a lot of overhauling, and I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, gaming wise, this week is nuts, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. As far as like what's th what's going on this week in gaming. Um, other than that, I played Smite uh, and I casted Smite. I casted for NECC slash AGL last Monday. Uh, we had more production issues. We got those sorted out. We thought we we're going to get ready to cast game number one. In stasis mode happened. Oh. And I haven't seen stasis mode in Spectator in years. So we had to just like throw that game out the window. Um, the other two games were awesome. Uh, shout outs to, you know, our production member, Jeepney. She did a really good job once we got everything rolling. And then uh, we had Maniac on spectator and saffron was with me casting it was it was a good time i, I thought it went really well yeah. and then we had a cast last night that i was not on but i was just, i was there to make sure everything was set up and working well again we had more production issues uh but we got all that settled out and rosie Could took care of the spectator of system dude Is i don't know or? i have no idea i me and majin have talked about it and I think what's going to happen is production that that role is going to get phased out or changed to be something different because it's just not, it's not working with what we do sadly, but they killed it last night. They had a great set. It was like a three game set. So that was super sick. Um, I casted dire dragons too this week, uh, dire dragons versus a and M century. 
Uh, I casted game one and then Embright uh, wanted to try out chair two and cast with me game two. And those games were awesome. Uh, shout outs to the solo laner that was that left fire giant left was out of the circle and then walked back in. And as he crossed the circle, died to fire giant right as they killed it. Um, shout outs to that. Dang. Um, there's a clip it's posted in discord. If you want to go watch it, it's a, uh, it's a something, but uh, they, they ended up winning that. We did scrims. Uh, we won the first game, and that was the only game we played because uh, we kind of fragged out. Mm-hmm. But the story of the day is the fact that the game ends and Gactyl gets banned from Smite. Oh, that was hilarious. That, and uh... yeah, <laughs> yeah, this the in the fact that it's just <laughs> it's for a week, and it's it was just such a funny email that he got. Uh, that I that will not mention here. Um, uh, if you want to well, hear about it, it's in Discord. It At first, he thought that he got banned by his friends. Yeah, he thought his he thought his roommate reporting him for not placing wards and slash is what got him banned. Um, it in fact wasn't, but it might have it, it might have not helped his case. Uh, that he got reported several times for that. But, but it it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, other than that, what else? I, Smite wise, I did some shenanigans this week. I feel like I attempted to play set uh, and then got bodied in arena because my team just wouldn't dive with me. Um, played an Ulron. We won, but it wasn't pretty. I played Cupid mm-hmm. and kind of popped off, and then we lost because we just we had a Freya solo. I'll leave it at that. And then I tried on her, got bodied. Uh, and then I played Mamon ADC. And I was popping this game. Okay. I'm a little mad. I, it was, we did the voodoo lane, which was me on Maman and big cat on Baron. And then we had Embright on Loki, embers on Herc and calamity on Chiron. I was fragging, bro. I was like seven, three and something on Maman, Just absolutely going crazy. Hey, let's go. And we lost, we lost that game. Um, it you know it it it's hard to say if big cat being full damage baron was the cause of our loss but it uh it probably just didn't help you know i don't know i i forgot how much damage baron actually does as full damage i yeah, played a baron crazy, in dude. mid and i was like ow this dude hurts yeah no he definitely hurts oh i forgot to mention the cupid game that we lost i got dc'd for 5 minutes i came back was four oh, yeah. levels down. I forgot about that. Four one. levels down to the enemy ADC. Hit level twenty before that ADC. I did fifty six thousand damage that game, which was top of the lobby by a large margin. I love Cupid. Cupid is the nice. Pick. I also forgot to mention during the Dire Dragons game, uh, two people decide just not to cook game one, and that is mind boggling to me. Was it on our team? No. Oh, shout outs to a uh, big cat for crushing a mini on the red buff camp and not the rest of the camp, just the mini. Uh, I feel, I feel like that needs to be shouted out just because uh, I was impressed for as much as he plays Scylla that that could happen. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd be like that. It, it was an interesting game. It was, um, but that wraps up my games of the week. We have, we have some gaming news to talk about hey, let's and there's, go. and there's a lot. Which I guess I should preface oh, this wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. Here's yeah. something. So uh, we found out that there are certain people that don't know what a semicolon is. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's shift and the button next to L, not the K, the other button that looks like uh, two dots, but above it's a semicolon. That was hilarious. That was really, really funny. Um, <laughs> I was like, that's too good. So uh, so for a little clarification, though, so you have to press the semicolon to, like, I guess it's Essence Card Pack Exchange. Yeah, in Pixel Green, like server. Card. I, I, I don't know what it does. I have yet to see how you do it. I don't think any of us do know what it does, Bats. But I... All I remember is, so, what's a semicolon? <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole check is, what? It was such an honest, like, like uh, it was such an honest thing too. It was like so innocent when it was said. 
You could tell they didn't want to say it, and I don't blame them. You think that, but it sounded like it came right out as soon as you're like, oh, yeah, semicolon button. <laughs> All right, let's start off with this this week, this week news, though. Uh, first and foremost is about Unity, which we talked about a few weeks ago and their uh, pricing mm-hmm. shenanigans with developers. And it said, after the pricing fiasco at Unity, uh, John, and I'm going to butcher this guy's last name, so we're just going to call him uh, Risa Tilloli. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but I'm going to assume that it's R I C C I T I E L L O. And a dad said John R. Yeah, I could. Uh, we'll step down as CDO uh, because uh, he screwed up big time and president and chairman. So he was CEO, president, and chairman. He is stepping down uh, effective on that day, which was October 9th. And James M. Whitehurst, who has a much easier name to say, uh, will take over as the interim CEO. And there's a whole list of reasons why, but a, a lot of it has to do with the, the pricing shenanigans that they were trying mm-hmm. to uh, force upon developers after that have already released games uh, using their platform as a engine. Uh, Smite news. There was Adam more Black. roster changes, and I'm just going to leave it at that because I find the roster changes frustrating. Um, if you want to go check that out, it was... I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. Jangaru is going to be the mid laner for the Glads, I think was the newest one. I don't remember if I remember announced the ones last week. Huh. Um, along with this, lots of big news regarding Microsoft and Xbox this week. Uh, Microsoft yes, has acquired Blizzard, King, and Activision. Uh, so Let's those go. games will be coming to Game Pass sooner or later, but this also means that they will be developing new games, but we'll see some old IP come back. And this is where I have to ask you, Bats. How do you feel about Guitar Hero coming back? Um, To be honest, I like it. I'm about I it. They, I kind of hope they do that with Rock Band too. Well, I don't know if Rock Band will happen, but Guitar Hero... Listen, listen, don't, don't, da- don't dash my dreams. Rock Band's there. a whole other company, bro. I know, but you know, Microsoft is buying things. They might as well start. Yeah, I, I I do think like Guitar Hero, we could see a resurgence. I would like it to just be the guitar and not the rest of the band, like just guitar, like guitar and bass. Um, I think see, you release it as like so much fun with drums and everything. Yeah, but do you really want to spend four hundred dollars on like peripherals? Because you know that's how much they're going to charge for it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have Guitar Hero guitars in my house. You know how much Guitar Hero guitars go for? A lot. You want to know a how lot. I know? Because my brother-in-law called my wife and was like, hey, do you guys still have Guitar Hero guitars? And she was like, yeah. And he's like, do you think uh, I could borrow one? And I was like, yeah, bro, I got you. And he wanted my Guitar Hero to, to guitar. And I was like, absolutely not. Like, no. Like, I know how much that thing's worth. I love that guitar. No. And he wanted the Guitar Hero 3 guitar. And I was like, no, you can have the Guitar Hero World Tour guitar. You can have that one. And he was like, or whatever, which one it was. And he goes, oh, this one requires like a Microsoft adapter in order to hook up to your PC. And I was like, dude, that's... I got you, bro. I said, you know what? I I said, dude, you want to know what's real crazy? Give me a second. I opened a drawer in my desk and no joke, it was right where I thought it would be, which was crazy because I haven't used that adapter in forever. And he was so excited. He's like, you saved me so much money. I appreciate it. <laughs> but it I would love crazy. And I have to see all it. those guitars, too. I do, too. Down in the basement. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guitar Hero is like a jam, dude. I loved I loved Guitar Hero. What I'd like to see them do is just release, like, one game, have it have, like, a base set of songs, and then they could do DLCs or, like, Every, I don't know, six months to a year, they could just release a new base pack that you just download. Um, so, Dude, it's not a new, so it's not a new. So it's not a new game oh, each out. year. I'm like, I want it. Yeah. Well, that's why I think like if you did it like in these packs where they could release it as like a digital download that's not making you purchase a whole new game. So it's all in one hub, I think would be kind of cool. But we'll have to see how that goes. That's That's why I'm a little bit upset that like, you know, Rock Band can't come back. Because I have so many songs that I just dropped money on. Oh yeah, the Rock the Band. the Green Day version of Rock Band. That was Rock Band, right? Or did, was that? I think it was. Or was that Guitar Hero? No, that was that was Guitar Hero. I think. 
I don't know. Either way, that was sick too. Um, anyways, moving on. Titanfall three. Hey. If it's true, we'll find out uh, in yeah. well in ten days time. There's a world premiere trailer coming, and no the way. rumor is it's Titanfall three. And if it's Titanfall three, I'm gonna be stoked. What did I see. Oh, because I don't know if you have any gaming news. What's up? But I saw they. So you know how Assassin's Creed Mirage just came out? Yeah. They already have the trailer for their next Assassin's Creed. And it's Japan. I'd play that. See, I have a, I've, I've been having a hard time with like Assassin's Creed because I used to play every single one that came out. Mm-hmm. And then I just kind of got burnt out on playing them because like it was just a repetitive game loop. Now, what I will say, I do like that they've taken a lot of time between the last one and Mirage, which was the last one was the Norris oh, one. Huh? Yeah, Valhalla. Um, I do like that there was like a lot of time that wasn't just like a year in a new game, but I just haven't had a desire to go back. See, Valhalla was pretty fun. I've heard Valhalla was good. I need to play it. I have it. I just haven't played it. And then I... Yeah, that was the last one they released. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We also have the fact that Twitch has started releasing a function that the users you ban will no longer be able to uh, able to watch your streams. So like currently if you ban a user, they can still watch. They just can't chat, but yeah. coming soon, uh, they will go bye-bye. You won't have to deal with that anymore. Watch yourself. Yep. Um, also, I want to take a moment and celebrate the fact of as of January 1st, 2024, Bobby Kotick will no longer be the CEO of Activision. Really? And that brings me great, great happiness because <laughs> this is something I've been asking for. Uh, I'm wearing, I, this is great. I wish I was wearing my other shirt now that I thought about this. I'm wearing a Blockbuster shirt, like making a Blockbuster night, okay? I talked, I've talked about this on the podcast. I used to work at Game Crazy, which was attached to Hollywood Video. And people used to ask me like different questions and, and like they'd be like, oh, what do you think about Activision, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, they'd be great if they got rid of Bobby Kotick. That dude's an idiot. Like, he is actually a problem for that company. And he's finally going to be gone. 15 years later, he is finally going to be gone. And it brings me so much joy. (laughs) It's not that he's fired, okay? He gets a huge severance package. This guy's going to be loaded for life. He's also on the board of Coca-Cola. Okay, I, I, I'm not happy in the sense of like, oh man, dude got fired, happy about that. I'm happy because like, this company will no Thanks. longer have the stranglehold of Bobby Kotick making terrible life decisions for the company. And like, yeah. I understand they're owned by Microsoft now and like some things could go wrong on that front. I get it. But Bobby Kotick will be gone. And I can't express to you how much joy this brings me. So I just want to take a moment have a little celebration of you know what, whatever you need in this moment you know go play your player pause this go play your favorite song go do a dance i don't know but just know the gaming world is now a better place as well not now but a january 1st 2024 will be a better place and that's what matters yeah it's been data mined because I don't know if have you seen the trailer of the Microsoft welcoming in Blizzard, Activision, and King trailer? Like welcome um, to the Xbox family. I actually haven't. Okay, well it's super sick. And there's already been a data mine for a while that there's gonna be a, a creeper um like pet, like one of the little battle pets you can get in WoW, there's gonna be a creeper. Oh, that'd be kinda cool. And it's called Little Creep. <laughs> it's also rumored because of this acquisition that there's going to be a halo crossover with overwatch. And there's going to be a Spartan 76 skin for hero 76. And the concept art for it looks sick. It sounds dope. It does sound really, really good. But now we get to, to the important things of the day. Uh, and that is, do you remember game fuel? Speaking yeah. of 15 years ago, remember game fuel? Guess what's back? Halo Game Fuel. Halo Game Fuel. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, now, so let's talk. Let's talk about Halo about game that. field for a second. Let's talk about Halo Three. Okay. Oh, I did see something about that. Where so the Halo Three mm -hmm. actual bottle of game field went for like 150 bucks. Hun no, like 150 k. Oh yeah, no, that's what. It or, was. or maybe it was 15 k. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, Expensive as crap. And it's, said, yeah, drink insane. Because it, it's probably bad. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. I worked at Game Crazy when Halo 3 released. I have the Halo 3 launch t-shirt upstairs. And they sent us a metric ton of game fuel, dude. Like so much game fuel. Like we couldn't we couldn't possibly give out enough of it. I oh, had game fuel. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I little I literally had like a pallet of game fuel to myself. Like there was so much. Cuz I remember I took a bunch up to college with me. Um and I I loved Game Fuel. I loved it. I love playing Halo, Halo 3. Fuel. And what I love about what's happening in Halo right now is they're bringing back Halo 3 maps along with the re-release of Game Fuel. Along with some other stuff too. There's a new season that's out. It's season 5. They added a bunch of different features. Like there's Firefight now. There's new maps. They have new customization options. There, there's infected customization options. There's new forge elements. Um, there's an extraction game mode. I mean, it, it, oh, and they changed the movement, like the actual like game movement of your Spartan. Like they've worked, like they've like fine tuned. Especially uh, supposedly, like it's gonna be a little off putting from my understanding from what I've read, is because like the movement is gonna be like a little bit quicker and a little bit more fluid than what it was currently in Infinite. And I think that's super sick. That would be pretty sick. Um, uh, and uh, right, shout out right. to I think it was Phase Clan just dominated uh, Grand Finals after after they bracket reset. They won eight games in a row to win the Halo World Championships this weekend. Let's go, um, dude! I'm so excited. Yeah, I think you you're the one who sent me that, and I was like, bro, I haven't had fun on Halo since Halo Three. I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't drank soda well, in like a decade, and I'm really considering going to buy some game fuel. I take that back. Halo Reach was pretty fun, but I Reach haven't been as good. competitive. Oh yeah, no, I haven't Halo either. 3. I played, I played a good bit of Infinite, and I just couldn't like get into it. But this current update that came yeah, out, I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna go back and try it out because with the new maps and stuff they're bringing back, like there's new maps, there's remakes of old maps, and the new game modes. I am curious to go try it out. Like I think it's gonna be a fun time. I also found there's a a group or at least a, there, there's a discord where they're making a halo battle royale in the forge and it's procedurally generated every match is different that's kind of cool and i think that's super sick um so something to watch out for i'm excited about it we'll have to see how that pans out over time but uh you know maybe i break my streak of not having soda for a mountain dew game fuel maybe that's what i do i don't know uh, I know probably not many people care about this like I do, but the new uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, it was confirmed that Matt Mercer is the voice of Vincent Valentine, and that makes me excited. Yeah, that is that, that is pretty good. Also, there's this game that's being made it's, it's through Reclaim Interactive, and it looks like pod racing, but next gen. That'd be kind of cool. It looks sick. And like I said, lots of different things going on in the gaming sphere. I mean, this week is kind of insane for games. Uh, so today is Tuesday, which we don't usually record on, but it is Tuesday. Um, Sonic Super do. Sonic Superstars came out today. I played it. It's four players. It's fun. Had a fun time playing with the kids tonight. I'm concerned of why Sega released this game this week because on Friday, Super Mario Brothers Wonders come out. And that game is going to get absolutely buried by that. Spider-Man 2 <laughs> comes out. The Diablo patch came out today. The Halo patch came out today. A Vampire Survivors patch, like, update, free update, comes out this week on Thursday. And I'm sure there's a slew of other games that are coming out or updating this week. And it's been absolutely insane. I mean, just insanity. The amount of games that we are getting between late September and the end of October. I, I, I don't even know the last time we've had this strong of a setup gaming wise with releases. 
in such a long time as far as like this time of year. I mean, it, it's just crazy. But yeah, um, we have names of the week. Hey, shouldn't we have like a bunch? Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, I should probably give you a heads up too. One of these times, there's going to be a lot of games of the week names. I'm not going to say why or how or by who, but you'll figure it out eventually. Okay. Well, we have, someone's we're going to start. Been, someone's say. been stockpiling them. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, we we have Hamburglar, we have uh, Nevea de Krite. we have Cheesy Crust, FS underscore Divas Thighs, Daddy Issues 9, Thick Femboy, Wrath of Cosby, I hate that name. Um, <laughs> that was in our ranked game. <laughs> Bernie's Nip Ring, The Uwu Police, Fei Fei Fade. Uh, Champa Pogs, Dis God in the game, Hades C, My Nuts Best Nuts, Nuts in Your Face, Block Obama, I'm not saying those ones, uh, Lick of My Dong, oh, 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 Sir up, Poops A Lot, now I gotta, no, I gotta they're bad, I'm not saying them because they're like TOS bad, um, oh. sex, Sexual Friday, Bussy Blaster 420, Fried Ice Cream, Banana Man, Sl- Slappy Jackie, Fidel Cotto, Booty Twerk 10K, Karma Sama in Tears Nub, Fat and Poor, uh, Fishy Wishy, and Blind as Bat. Okay, I see which ones you're not saying. Yeah. Is it the ones you posted? <laughs> yeah, I posted them because I was like, what the heck, bro? Like, how did, what are people thinking? Out here being actual crazy. <laughs> crazy but anyways on the way out of here tonight bats you got any shout outs uh as always shout outs to our listeners um because i think i may have lost count of what we're at we're at like 129 or 128 128 uh we were we were one ahead last week (laughs) i realized that after we recorded (laughs) but uh you know we're we're getting to 130 we're close to 150 yeah, we're we'll doing something at 150. Huge. I don't know That's what we're going to do at 150, but we'll figure it out. And um, yeah, shout out to you guys for listening, being great. As always, you know, get shoot us some comments, messages. Obviously, for those of you that are longtime listeners, I'm assuming you're in the Discord where, you know, Blaze and I listen. Also, other people listen to suggestions of how you want to see things go. Um, I'm hoping at some point we actually figure out what our uh, Fafo episodes are. Yeah, we'll figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, dude, I, okay, that's why I forgot to talk about. So I didn't stream Friday. I didn't. I was going to do Fafo Friday. I'd hop into Discord. There's like nine people in Discord. I'm like, dude, what's going on in here? And I'd hop in, and it's just a, a fest of like slamming high-res decisions. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I can chime in on this. And the best part of it was this went on for like 50 minutes and never have I ever been in a discord call that I wish I just brought the bot in and recorded because that was the perfect like Fafo Friday episode or just like Fafo episode because it it was just us shooting the stuff, just talking about whatever (laughs) it just happened. We were talking about high res stuff but it went on for like 50 minutes. And honestly, all I would all I would have needed to do was like normalize audio, call it a day. Just unedited. Just unhinged, unedited. It, I just throw it out there. It would have been perfect. And, and I missed it. Yeah, you did. It was a time. <laughs> it was it was so bad that day too, because I was trying to stay up, right? And Boss and I were playing ranked. The last ranked game, I'm like nodding off as I'm playing, like, oh, I hit an ability. I think I hit yep. an ability. I was playing turn and ball, and I was like, boss. Guide me to the where I need to go. Tell me. Guide me to the left, dub. Right. <laughs> I was like, my eyes are shutting. Please <laughs> so help me. That game, I was like, I'm going to bed. I woke up and went, how did I get here? <laughs> That's so funny. Because I think I was up for. It was close. It was almost 24 hours. It was like we were on 22 hours. Yeah, you were like up that. a long time. Because I remember being like, dude, is this man going to go to sleep? 
Oh, I did. Yeah, you <laughs> did. He's I was zonked. like, ah, we got to see what games Blaze is playing because it was supposed to be like a spooky one, I think. Yeah, we're talking about doing something like that. that I think this one? week, I think this week's just sponsored stream is what I'm going to do. I'm, I might end up casting too, uh, but we'll do like some. We're, I have a sponsored game that's just funny that I want to play. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, see, uh, see, we need to we need to get the community to tell Blaze to keep playing Hunt Showdown so we can get back into that. Oh, we can play that. I'm down. I'm down for that anytime. I got it updated. I'm ready to go. Uh, I guess I should just have mine updated, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm I I am good to go on that front. Mine, we're good. Uh, so fun facts, actually. I guess I could shout this out because it was decided today. There is going to be Guardians mental health streams like on their channel every Friday for the, less, the rest of the month where they're doing like spooky Fridays. Hey, let's go. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, maybe we'll join in over there, but if not, like just make sure to go check it out. I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, speaking of stream stuff, the stream has been popping as of late. So I do want to shout out all Ooh. the listeners and viewers for that. I think we're almost at 70 subs right now, uh, which is insane. Like the other day we're at 67. And I, that's the highest sub count I've ever had. So it's been awesome to see that. The goal was like, I've had it set at 50 for a while. Uh, with that being said, we need a good idea for this Saturday. This Saturday is Smite Night, and we're doing a like sub stream. So here's the deal. I already put in chat requests back. All the chat requests are back that were there before and then some. There's some more new ones. There are options, all right? There is, we Blake could run it. going to be playing Hachi for the rest of his life. No, I'm not. Uh, fun fact of the day. <laughs> I, I already, already worked around that. Um, okay, and we'll make it neat. I, it's better than playing 45 games of Hachi. Oh, um, no, wait, Jing Wei. Everybody, Jing Wei. It's better than 45 games of Hachi. We can keep naming gods. Doesn't matter. Um, it's been suggested that I, that I play a single god and win in every role on stream which I'm down to do. Um, I think that could be fun. Uh, it was suggested I do Cthulhu. That is not going to happen, but I am down to, to do the challenge either way. I, I can um, almost guess who uh, suggested that one. Suave. Um, so <laughs> that's who suggested it. I'll <laughs> happily list that na person's name. Uh, it's also been suggested I do a Blaze After Dark stream, and I'm down to do that too on Saturday. Uh, I will say this, if I do a Blaze After Dark stream, there's probably not going to be a VOD, so be there, be square. That's where I'm at. Okay, up so what I heard is I need to get Blaze all riled up before then, so this Blaze <laughs> After Dark is good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like that one day Blaze was going to stream and somehow, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but he's like, I'm, I'm angry, I'm not even streaming now. Or no, no, gonna... I did, I did. I think I got upset, I was like, no, I'm done, bro. Uh, it was also suggested we do like cards against humanity, which I'm down to do, but I don't think that's a stream game. I'm yeah. down to do it. In, I'm down to do it in Discord though. If, if we wanted to get like a group together, do cards against humanity, I'm I'm down for that. I definitely don't think you can stream that without no, no getting in trouble. No, I'm not doing. I'm I, I'm not one. doing that. I that it was suggested. I'm like like the idea, not for stream, but like the idea, <laughs> like the enthusiasm. You know, it, it's it's kind of like how you don't play Town of Salem two on stream. Because you can't mute people's no places. that that's that's traitors of Salem. You can't traitors, mute. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Town oh, of no, Salem 2, right. we actually Town of Salem we, 2 is actually Town of Salem. Yeah, we were gonna play that on Friday and then we ended up in that discussion forever in a day. So we did Traitors Traitors of Salem you can't though, because as Blaze and I found out, you can't mute people. No, you cannot. And they and, uh, say everything. Everything. You're like, oh okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Blaze and I were like, we're glad that we uh, didn't do this while we were streaming. Yeah, <laughs> that was a that was a ban worthy event right there for sure. But other than that, I want to shout out to Dare Drops. They got a bunch of stuff going on over there. I've been doing some different dares. You can always suggest dares. Like it doesn't have to be just the ones Dare Drop has. You can go to my page and you can make a dare. Like you can put them on there, and I can choose to accept them or not. Check those out. They just released their second set of October dares has like Mortal Kombat and stuff on there. And I'm tempted to buy Mortal Kombat more than I already was. So uh, maybe we get a Mortal Kombat stream in, you know, maybe, maybe that happens. Maybe we, we push that along and uh, you know, shots to guardians, mental health, a lot of great work going on over there. Uh, spooky streams for the rest of the month on Fridays um, in early November, there's going to be a guardians mental health stream weekend to help raise money. 
uh, for mental health kits. Uh, I will be streaming on November 4th from 10 to 12 p.m. I might be picking up an extra time slot on the 5th from 10 to 12 as well. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, just shout out to everybody. Listen, really do appreciate it. Appreciate all the new viewership and, and all the, all the support for the podcast and the stream. I hope the new podcast host works out well. Uh, everything's through Spotify now, so it will still upload to everywhere else. Uh, I think it's going to take maybe a week or two from when I talk to support for that all to flush out, like go to Apple, go to iHeartRadio, and all the other ones that it goes to, but it will happen over time. If it doesn't happen within the first week, I'm going to go back and look at it again and figure it out, but... I will continue to post through Spotify. There's a Q and a section that you can post on. Uh, and I've been trying to put pools onto each one as well from here on out. So there'll be like a little pool question. If you want to answer that, uh, just for, uh, for funsies, but I got nothing else. You got anything bats? Uh, I got nothing. All right. Bye. Later.